how to transfer data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Genie Guide. So in this video, I'll simply show you how you can upgrade your iPhone and then transfer all of those data from your old outdated iPhone to the new iPhone that you recently purchased. So you simply want to make sure to watch this video till the end. So on the left hand side of the screen, you can see my old and outdated iPhone 11 and on the right hand side, you can see my newest iPhone 14 Pro Max. So this also works well with any of the other versions of iPhone that you're actually currently using. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that both of the iPhone are put together in one place you want to make sure you're on the setup screen on a new iphone right so when you're on the setup screen and then you simply swipe up you should see a pop-up on your old iphone that says set up your new iphone now in case you do not see that pop-up you just want to make sure to lock your old iphone and then unlock it again in order to see if that solves the problem and then gives you the pop-up so when you actually lock and unlock it again, it will ask you to set up your new iPhone, right? So all you have to do here is tap on the continue option. It is going to take some time to connect, so you're going to be simply patient and wait. So it says you to hold your camera and then scan this red circle or this blue circle which is on the right hand side of the screen. So we're going to simply hold this up and then scan this circle right over here that you actually see. So once you've successfully scanned the circle, it'll ask you to set up your new iPhone, right? So on your old iPhone, you have to select the option to set up for yourself or create a new child account. In this case, I'll just select set up for me. So I'll just tap on it. Once I tap on it, it'll ask me to enter the passcode of my other iPhone. So go ahead and then do that respectively. This is just done to verify that the person trying to make the transfer is the owner himself or not. So as you can see on my new iPhone, it says that it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So as you can see, it'll ask me to set up the face ID once the process is basically complete. Now you can set it up right away if you want. You can tap on the continue button or else you can just tap on the option called set up later, which is at the bottom of the screen. For now, I'm going to just skip it. And over here, it'll ask me to transfer data from my old iPhone 11. So depending upon whichever versions you have, you just want to make sure to tap on the option called continue. Now make sure to just be patient and wait. Make sure that you also have enough charge on both of your iPhones because you can also see the estimated time depending upon how much data you want to transfer from your old iPhone. What this does is that this is automatically going to transfer all of the settings, the Wi-Fi settings, the Bluetooth settings, as well as your system settings, and including your account as well as your Apple ID settings to your new iPhone. So on the right hand side, you can see the terms and conditions, right? So you want to make sure to simply agree to the terms and conditions here. So as you can see on the right hand side, after the process is complete, it will ask you to make this your new iPhone, right? You can see what are the things that are going to be transferred. Some of them are apps and data, the others are the settings basically. So you can just tap on the option to continue or you can review each of these manually by tapping the customize icon from the bottom. I'm going to leave it to continue and then I'll just tap on this blue button. Now once I've done that, it will ask you to set up your emergency SOS, but basically I'm going to tap on the continue option again. Now you can see the transfer has begun and it is going to take a while. After this process is complete, your iPhone is going to be reset started automatically and your new iPhone will be set up and ready to use. After that, you can delete all of the data from your old iPhone if you'd like. And that's all it takes to transfer data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. We hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.